live in high definition. You're watching KDLT News at 10 on NBC. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jill Johnson. One of the winningest coaches in college men's basketball has lost his battle with cancer. For, former Northern State coach Don Meyer passed away this morning at the age of 69 with his family by his side. He went into hospice care earlier this week in his home in Aberdeen. KDLT Sports Director Mark Ovenden tells us why he will be remembered for much more than just winning games. Don Meyer is beloved in Aberdeen for such a wide variety of reasons. Ironically though, success on the court for the Wolves didn't happen overnight for this legendary coach. That way. I mean, coach had a rough start to start with and all of a sudden I think people learned uh, number one who he was and what he was about and then people just embraced that. Meyer told Olson, the man he replaced and his new boss, that he'd have to make a change if they didn't turn things around in a couple of years. Well, the Wolves, of course, started winning. He eventually passed Bobby Knight as the men's all-time winningest coach, finishing with 923 victories. But it was the positive influence he had on his players that mattered most to coach. Many have followed in his footsteps. He really put me under his wing and said, I need to take a hard look at coaching, and, and now it's, it's my passion. It's what, I, what I'm doing, and he's, he's a big part of where I'm at today. A real genuine guy, a real genuine coach in it for all the right reasons. Um, there's no question that he was never in this for anything selfishly. That same attitude of helping others motivated Don after he stopped coaching. He had gone to work raising money for the new Cancer Institute in Aberdeen, bearing his and Carmen's name that will break ground in August. It's been a big thing for Coach Meyer and Carmen to see that this is up and going and to see it's done right. and. Um, you know, for them to be a part of that, I think, kind of tells you who they are too, Mark. Don leaves behind an incredible legacy, of course, for winning a lot of games, and for how he persevered after that 2008 car accident when he lost his leg and found out he had cancer. He never felt sorry for himself. He just put life in overdrive, continuing to make a difference every single day. He's just one of those guys, I think, that every day he has a great ability to touch a lot of people as evidenced by the outpouring of love and support on social media in recent days. This note from the family just kind of says it all. And personally, I can't wait to get his post-game comments after he throws that perfect game. With photojournalist Adam Huntmer, I'm Mark Ovenden, KDLT Sports. Meyer led his team to the playoffs 19 times. He retired in 2010 after a decade at Northern State and 24 seasons at Lipscomb in Tennessee. 